Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video you will learn basics of digital electronics. And by watching full series of videos, you will understand more about digital electronics. In today's advanced age, many of the electronics devices we are using every day are digital devices and some are analog. Digital devices work on digital signals. These signals are in the form of digits, which are 0 or 1. Examples of digital devices are computer, laptop, mobile phone, camera and storage devices etc. And analog devices work on analog signals. Analog signals are time-varying quantity. Examples of analog devices are Amplifier, old telephone line and old television. Let's understand analog and digital signals well. Analog signals. Analog signals are signals whose value changes over time, and most of the things in the universe that are measured are in the form of analog signals. Temperature, time, pressure, and sound are the examples of analog signals. Digital signals. Digital signals are signals that have only two positions, high or low. Where high is equal to 1, and low is equal to 0. If the voltage are 2 to 5 volts, it means high or 1, and if voltage are 0 to 0 0.8 volt, it means low or 0. Because the position of signals in a digital system is either high or low means 1 or 0. That's why the digital signals are called binary signals also. Analog devices versus digital devices, all measuring instruments that express their measured value with the help of a needle or pointer through a calibrated scale for a rating such as voltmeter, ampere meter, frequency meter, temperature meter, are all analog measuring instruments because the pointers move constantly with changes in the amplitude of the measured values. In contrast, all measuring instruments that do not consist of pointers and scales and display their measured value in the form of individual digits or discrete digits are called digital devices. Binary codes or digital codes. Binary code, code used in digital computers, based on a binary number system in which there are only two possible states, off and on, usually symbolized by 0 and 1. So, the components or devices that process through digital codes are called digital components. And study of such components is called digital electronics. To learn more about digital electronics, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon to get notification of new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.